We're heading in for our second set of muzz season. Today's opening day. We went in this morning to the bedding area that we've hunted a couple times during bow season about a week ago. Got to do a bunch of action in there, been seeing a bunch of bucks in there. But we went in there this morning and didn't see hardly a deer. We did kick up a couple does at, on our way out, but that was about it. Tonight, going to this spot that Cole and I found a few days ago, there's a bunch of scrapes up on this bean field. We're looping around the backside, getting to a bedding area that we've hunted in the past. Jake and I hunted in there in 2019 and got real close to a nice buck during bow season. So we're gonna cross this creek, go up the other side, and then walk our way back in there. Maybe get up in a tree so we can see down in that bedding area a little better and see what happens. But we got great weather tonight. It's been kind of raining off and on all day. And tonight it's nice and cool out. My feet are gonna be freezing cold because I forgot my boots. So I'm gonna kick these babies in the four wheel drive and let it rip. I know I have my boots in the, in my hand at the house right before we left. But <laughs> apparently I didn't make that transfer from my hand to the car. I don't know where they're at. Hopefully that's the only thing that goes wrong for you the rest of the night. Yeah, let's hope. We'll see though. Get in here and find out. Oh, this is going great. <laughs> we, uh, we jumped a buck and then a uh, bunch of thick stuff up there. So it's, Making it a pain to walk back here. No wind cover. Thought we were gonna have some wind cover to work with to get back here. You forgot your boots. Forgot my boots. Got too many layers on it. Too many layers. All kinds of things. <laughs> Did see a black cat on the way here, so we knew we were in for a good one. Looks like somebody had the same idea we did. They're walking ahead this edge. That can't be from very long ago because it just rained a bunch. He might be in here right now. Got a little light leak. Might even have a bigger leak now after what we'll run over. Transmission this fluid, morning. but I'm putting in the power steering fluid thing because that's what my mechanic says is okay. Oh, I'm no mechanic. This I'm just the son of a mechanic. Dana Andrews is a mechanic. He is. He's a mechanic by trade, American by birth, and Texan by the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's thirsty then. You just leave the funnel in it yeah if you don't got to do a little light mechanic in before you go hunting on your stuff then what are you even doing i don't know if you can call that mechanic work but it just feels like a good hunting trip now let's go get this thing stuck that's what i think we might do yeah content yeah if you can't get on deer just bury just your car get break something or get something stuck or just burn your truck to the ground <laughs> call the cops cops call them All right, well, today is opening day of the muzzleloader season. We went out this morning. Pretty much just ended up scouting around more for pressure. Jumped into a spot and saw two does and a nice buck. And then we just pulled out of there pretty quickly and just tr tried to see where other people were hunting at. Cruised by here and nobody was parked in any of this stuff. Cole and I came in here and scouted yesterday. Squirrel hunted, scouted, found some big rubs, and then it's just, there's a bottom that's got I don't know if it's smart weed or what that's growing up, but Peyton, Ted's buddy hunted here about a week ago and saw a big buck come out in there and he was just feeding on it like it was a soybean field or something. So we went in there and picked out a spot to sit where we can shoot that and see it real well. And then there's just a bunch of really good bedding close by to that. We got damp conditions and it's pretty breezy still. So if we're not seeing anything there by like the last hour, so I think we're just gonna get along this edge and uh, just do some still hunting. Nick and Ward were in here last year and a big 10 pointer come up out of this bottom just following one of these little sloughs. So I think as long as we're moving through that dark timber up there, we'll be able to get within muzzle or range or something pretty easily. It's just a matter of if we can get eyes on it. So we're gonna start hoofing it back in there and I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing deer as we're walking in. You see everybody thought Cole was hitting a vape when he was sucking on his. Oh yeah, oh they did. <laughs> Cole Booth wasn't hitting a vape though. 
trying to hide your He was holding his thing like it was. He was just like, <laughs> relax. He's an adult. He's, he's growing up. He's a man. He's got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I got going on. Hey, hey, go afield with a good attitude. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dole family group. You see somebody just smashed it open. If you look at it from the other side, you can see they busted it open. Like I think they had the camera locked. Somebody mashed the crap out of that thing. Took the SD card, ran. Hopefully they got their intel they wanted. It's every man for themselves. There's good and bad, obviously. But that was a bad apple right there that did that to that person's trail camera. Some vandals got a hold of that thing. So what's your plan here this evening? I'm gonna sit here on this uh, this little native browse nature's food plot out here and see what comes out to it. It's like the height of the soybean field it looks like. Similar color, but we haven't, I haven't been able to get close enough to see what it actually is. But we've seen them feed on like cucumber and that duck potato and smartweed and stuff like that. 
So with this cold front moving in, we figured we won't overthink it. We just come sit out here and see what pops out here. There was a nice buck out here, like I said, that Peyton saw. I think he did end up spook spooking that thing, but maybe him or a different one will come back out. And then if we're not seeing anything by the last half hour or so, we can pop back to where Nick and Morb had that close call last year. Though hopefully we can just sit right here and watch the ducks move in and do a little scouting for tomorrow. Yeah, shoot a big buck here in the next 45 minutes. We might just. Our hope was that Cole and Ted were going to pick us out. But it sounds like we might have to go pick them up. So Yeah, what's the reason for that? They probably don't want to cross that creek again. Hopefully one of us shoots and that'll dictate what happens. Warm. Warm. There's a deer up in that little cove over there on the edge of the woods. I don't know if you can film it or not. I think it's a doe. That last willow tree comes down, comes out on the left, the smallest one. He's coming out to the right of that tree, Nick. I don't know where now. There's two of them there. Yeah, I think that's the bigger one. Coming back this way. That is the bigger one. I think so. Yeah. I feel like we can get on that edge over there and move up towards it. right here. It's that spike prop. There's a dog with that spike. Three deer right here. There's three deer right here. Oh my god, this doors are right here. <laughs> See his rack. See it there. there. Nice, decent.
in ten. Cole would come pick us up in that lot, maybe. But they want us to come pick them up. <laughs> they saw two fawns, I guess. That's not real good. No. We saw a handful. So, back to the drawing board tomorrow, I guess. We're gonna have good weather here in the next couple days. Would you have shot the one across the way there? I think so, yeah. I never could see him as well as you could, I don't think. But well, I got a bunch of foot video of him. This, they stood in the same place for a long time there, and then just parted ways if you had come out here and did what that one did. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Must have been hungry for acorns, so start offing it out of here. Go eat some chicken dumpling soup that Nick made us. I'm freezing. I'm hungry. My butt's wet. <laughs> See the lights over there, I think. We're down at the end here. Yeah, we ain't making her down there. Anybody up there? Uh, Nick says we ain't making it. All right, we'll walk up there. What are we doing here, Nick? Oh, uh, we're waiting on Ted and Cole Booth to walk out of here to us. They need a little lift. I guess they crossed some water and they didn't want to go back across. But the road's too wet for us to go down there and get them, so they had to hot foot it out of there. They look like they're having fun. Good sit then. That would call oh, a good sit. Great. <laughs> Three does come right by. We had a hound to flush our bedding area out as we were coming. <laughs> he was just in there. <laughs> <laughs> the tigers are up, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. Get your hopes up. I've seen him squander these <laughs> too many times. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. First day of muzzleloader. Pretty good day, I think. You guys saw some bucks. We didn't. We saw a decent one right at last light, but it was too dark to really tell what he was. We could just tell it was a pretty decent buck. I think Ted and I are going to go into a spot that we can see a good bit. And maybe try to see one lay down. Same with you guys, probably. Weather looks good again. North wind. It's gonna keep getting colder the next two days, so. Should keep getting better and better. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.